hist historically thinking about pandemics, um, influenza, SARS-CoV-1, um, any pandemic really, autopsy always has played a role in learning about the disease process. And I think when coronavirus was first starting to be described, at least COVID-19, not coronavirus in general, we, we knew that it affected the lungs. Obviously, patients came in with respiratory illness, but it was only really through autopsy that we started to see the spectrum of disease manifestations that the coronavirus can cause, COVID-19 can cause. This book would normally take maybe over a year to fill, and we're nearly through it, and this, this one's only a couple months old. When we started to do the autopsies of the COVID-19 patients, one of the main findings that we, we found was that there was clotting in various organs throughout the body, the, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys. And that was really under-recognized clinically as a source of, as sort of a, a process within the disease. In many of my cases of the patients that died in the ICU, they had very advanced scarring in their lungs that I wouldn't expect to see in someone who comes in with, let's say, influenza. And I think that we will learn that the damage that coronavirus does is, is quite dramatic.